what is a badass left hand? If you look into the dictionary, the good ones, badass left hand means a left hand that can do a lot of benefit to your reputation, a lot of uh, damage to sound system on stage, and uh, enthusiasm to the audience. That's the pattern. Twice the C. Then we have this E flat and the A, the three toners. That is, that is causing the damage to the other's ear and fills them with the total pleasure. This one, this one is the rumble in the jungle here. So we have dong, dong, ba. And then we resolve this to the C chord. And then we have both our lovely thirds here, this one and this one. Again, twice, damage, back, the uh, regular C, and one third, two thirds. Back, first, second, damage, back, first, second, damage, back, first, second, Damage first, second, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm all getting confused. This is the pattern. I show it in F. It's the same structure, of course. I hope you. We have the root here. Damage. First, third, both thirds. Damage. First, third, both thirds. Now we do the G, root, damage, it's always between the, uh, the minor third of the root and the sixth basically. Damage back, first third, both thirds. Damage back, first, second, damage back, first, second. Okay, that's it. Now, um, I tell you something. It is really important if you want, don't want to die playing this, maybe even without warm up, that you must use your um, wrist because it sounds really bad. There are a lot of uh, uh, so called boogie pianists out there who played like. Yeah, they don't do what's necessary. It starts with P and it goes on with rectusing. Practicing. Okay, that means. Look at my wrist. It's dancing. My wrist is dancing, and this gives it a, this feathery, uh, the right arm also dotting. Okay, okay then also you can play it straight. It's fantastic. Now what we do now is we start with practicing routines over it. We start being tight. So you come back after two weeks when you practice this on its own, so you can play it. Okay. So we do this, uh, um, as I said, it's um, at least for intermediate and like. These are so common and we use standard, standard uh, grips, standard uh, how do you call it? Patterns. So. Why 
while you do this, you bloody make sure um, that this is not cr crawling away out of your conscience. Um, so that's really the essence of how to build it up from left to right, from left to right, from left to right. Never sacrifice the groove, never sacrifice the left hand. This is the, the most important thing. Whatever you do, this is running top notch. You play, uh, you hear these very tight. Only if you manage to play tight with the left hand, being disciplined, you start running, you start accelerating. Only then, only then, then you do the, uh, the metronome on something faster. That's already a big step. You should step, uh, sh uh, do it in smaller steps. Um. want to be a real badass because then it becomes a true badass and let's see what is 150 mm, let's see now you saw or you you heard that I smuggled in another routine that we're going to practice uh, it's this one what is it this is also for, for that kind of boogie. You have to you have to do this right. Otherwise it's all crumbling. Now, of course it's bum ba ba bum do ba da bum eins. This is the two. Um here. And this is a very important point. This, this got to be tight. And you start with this, like this. Now, somebody asked me, why not use the thumb? Like if you see um, famous boogie piano uh, piano players do it, why shouldn't you do it? Now try to um, um, play the dotted notes, dotted notes with just the thumb alone. Um, let's say, yeah. And now try it with these two fingers. Tell me what's easier, and then you can decide for yourself. I'm just mentioning it. I'm just saying it. If you can, uh, this as good as this. Do it. You will see. You will see. You will see. Christian is always right. It's one motion. It's like you have a sixth finger here, but it's not. It's just this one coming over. But it feels like here. Snap over. Okay, then. Stay clean here. And so on. Now let's do a little bit uh, one last routine. Then of course you can do something. Um, let's take this Jerry Lewis thing. It is a uh, easy play. It works like a metronome, but again, like. And then again. Start at that tempo. Then again, you do. Um, let's take the metronome again. Oh, okay, it's uh, 
Of course, you gotta practice this before also, and this. You start with. Slower, but you start slow and then you take next step is 124. You can of course let it go on like we start we do it here now. Is it tight? Yes. Then you go up. It's almost almost straight now. The faster you become, the um, the straighter the dotting becomes automatically. And last something for the wannabes who like uh, like myself love to show off um, we do it this one uh, like, uh. what was that we start here with the c6 chord and now what we do is we take not just three in between we take the whole load you know we take the whole roll with the uh, salmon in between okay salmon why because it's got to be oily oily you know we are going to start one and two again th now this is the two and in between is you're just your wrist is just doing this motion you got to find out as I, I like to compare to um, where well you you try you try to figure out the uh, the uh, uh, the sound points like the contact points where is your key doing the sound because there you got to have your your fingers uh, it's not about the, where the plastic starts you know it's you got to figure out where the you get a feeling for where the um, the the sound um, uh, contact start either on your piano or on your digital piano so and then we have here you're just investigating the skin of the piano where is where is it where is it sensitive now and then you have then you use your wrist and this is part of the motion this is part of the movement very important I've seen a lot of pianists like and no it doesn't work if you play it fast you do it like this one and two one and two and this is what you have to practice one um, one and two Tight here, tight here. And this one again. It needs some time and it's important that you consider the whole thing one motion. It's one, one um, move of like a, so it's one. Look at my wrist. Nicely greased and oiled. So again. Then of course you know what to do on F, right? You replace the E like with all the other things. You do. I don't have to tell you that here. For the for the G, you take just any um, blues um, a lick, uh, or you just take a uh, whatever. Like a one. Okay, use this one. I stole it anyway. That does a lot of damage also. It's fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Either this, or if you're a real man, take this one also.
So these are uh, my tips for this boogie lesson. I think it was a lot. Take care. Now you can, of course, um, su subscribe. Do it right now. Or you can support me. Support me. My Patreon link is there somewhere. Become a, a member of the exclusive Patreon uh, club. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care from Berlin.